Hello, this is Lucretia, and you are tuned in to another episode of Candid Conversations. I hope that you're wonderful today. I hope that you are amazing today. And I just wanted to check in for a moment and discuss the topic of being fruitful. So, uh, as we know, in the book of Genesis, well, if you don't know, you can go back to the book of Genesis, and God gave Adam and Eve a command, and he told them to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Also, in the New Testament, there's a scripture that refers to one plant and one waters, but God gives the increase. So that is talking about fruitfulness as well in our lives. And we know, well, I know, well, and I'm going to let you know that in the book of Galatians, it discusses the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit being love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, and self-control. And so I was just thinking about all of these particular scriptures and the concept of being fruitful. And sometimes in our lives, maybe it doesn't appear that we are being fruitful because when we are on the daily grind, everything feels like much of the same. When we are disciplining ourselves to do the things that we need to do, that we know to do in spite of how we're feeling, because a lot of time in the process of being fruitful, in the process of planting, in the pl process of watering, it doesn't always feel like we're making a lot of progress. However, if we continue in our season of fruitfulness, if we continue in our season of cultivating, eventually the things that we're doing behind closed door doors are actually going to manifest themselves. And that's whether we're doing something in the sense of being fruitful or whether we're doing something in the sense of being off task because the things that we do the bible says that everything that's done in secret will eventually come to the light so in this life first of all life is but a vapor so we know that we only have a limited amount of time on this earth and the thing about it we don't know when our time limit is going to expire. So every day with the mind frame of being fruitful and we also don't know when that fruit is actually going, the result of the work behind the scenes is going to manifest. And when we are fruitful in our lives, us being fruitful, of course we get to enjoy the benefits of us being fruitful. That is definitely a benefit of us being fruitful because when we put in the work, we definitely should reap the rewards. But also, our fruitfulness should bless the lives of someone else. Think of any type of fruit tree and we don't just use the tree it's not just for ourselves and for our pleasure and for our indulging and for us to enjoy. Fruit trees are for everyone. And if you have one in your yard, other people can walk by and maybe they can pick some fruit from your tree. Okay, so I was just thinking in, in, in terms of being fruitful and it's not, it's not something that we are to spend our time to try to prove to someone else that we're actually having a fruitful season because that's not something that we have to do. Even though social media and everything out there will make you feel like, will make us feel like we have something to prove to ourselves, we have something to prove to God, we have to prove to our families, we have to prove to everyone and so we have to post about it we have to constantly talk about it we have to commentate about it everyone else needs to commentate about it but i'm of the mind frame that being fruitful when we are being fruitful we don't really have to uh even mention it because ultimately other people will begin to see the fruitfulness in our lives 
And not only will we benefit for being fruitful, but other people will begin to be benefit from our being fruitful. So continue to plant and continue to water and ultimately God will give the increase in our lives for being fruitful. And as we are growing the fruit of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us, then it will be something that people will not be able to deny because there will definitely be something different about us. So just my thoughts for today. Have the most amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.